everybody, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do a coffee review, review. of uh, Beanie's and Little Coffee. There's not that much Little's Coffee, it's all Beanie's basically. If you could see what was on the table, you would laugh. <laughs> There's an awful lot of coffee here. So we're going to go through our favourites and dislikes. There's quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so Let's first start. we've got the nutty hazelnut. We own, I got this for Claude on Tuesday. Show it the camera. And we're already down to here. That's a lot of coffee. How, what day is it today? Friday. Yeah. So that's basically what? In three days. Three, there's two of us drinking it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, the, that's our favourite one. Yeah, it's our favourite. Yeah, I really, really, really like it. But I also don't mind the Audi version as well. Cause it's yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. It's not quite as nice as the as the beanies one. You don't get quite as much nuttiness, but it's still good if you can't get the beanies one or if it's mm. just a bit expensive. Because yeah. I, I will admit they are a bit expensive. Yeah, you could put in a syrup, like hazelnut syrup, while the ones, the skinny ones, and that would probably add a little bit of hazelnut yeah. to the Audi one if you wanted more. Oh. Oh yeah, all these um, jars as well, it, one serving is two calories per cup on these. Yeah, so that's sim free by the way. If you probably already know that, I'm stating the complete obvious, but they are sim free. So you can happily drink away. Yeah, but if you add milk, then obviously it's more calories. But you can use it as your healthy extra. That is correct. Yeah, yeah that healthy extra A. <laughs> you all know that, but... I've well never done, really done the Slimming World. The next one is our second favourite. Is it your second favourite? It's my second favourite. No, I think I prefer the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, this is the Beanies Double Chocolate. And I used to drink loads of this. This was, I probably used to drink just as much of this as I did hazelnut, but I don't drink so much anymore. Mm. Mainly because it's hard to get, unless you order online. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I used to drink quite a lot of this. I've also tried the Audi one, which isn't too bad either. Have you had the Audi? No, one? I've only had the uh, hazelnut, uh, the nutty one. Yeah, the one from Audi isn't too bad. It's it's acceptable. It's not as good as the bean is, but it's not bad. It still tastes sort of chocolatey. It's the same as the hazelnut. It could do with a little more, but yeah, it's reasonably good. Yep. Okay, and then next we have the coconut, the Beanie's coconut one. This is really nice. It it's coffee like, but you get a nice hit of coconut as well. <laughs> After taste. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. This is my second favorite. See, I've only had that twice, and I can honestly say it's actually pretty good. It's not overpowering. I don't love coconut. It's Coconut's not my favourite, but this is actually quite a good drink. It's it's just subtle. That's what I like about it. It's subtle mm. with a slight coconut taste. So the next one we've got is the Littles Island Coconut. This is a decaf version. Now I'm quite into decaf coffees. This was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I had some this morning and it I said to Claude that it had kind of a burnt toast aftertaste. We had been eating toast that day, I will admit, <laughs> but it, the toast was not burnt at all. No, the toast wasn't burnt. It, it is just disgusting. Yeah. It overpowering, the smell is horrendous. It smells a bit like, I don't know how to describe it, it's like chemical coconut. <laughs> That's a word. It's I'm not really sure I'll let you. Yeah, a slight burnt coconutty. It's like they've gone overboard with coconut, basically. Okay. Horrendous. Don't buy it. I'll probably have to throw it away because it's horrible. Unless you're into real strong coconut flavour, then you'll probably quite like it. Right, and then next we have the chocolate orange. Um, I've only it's the really beanies version. it's the beanies version. I've only really tried it once, and I wasn't that keen on it. Oh uh, yeah, I quite like it. I drink it at work. 
<laughs> it's, I, I wouldn't say it's got a whole lot of chocolate and orange flavour to it. There's a hint. It's not very pat over. It's not. It's very subtle. No, it's isn't subtle. It? It's subtle. And I think that's why you dislike it because I think you expected it to taste like chocolate orange and it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one is the Beanies Chocolate Orange Decaf. This, the majority of the decaf bean is one you have to order online. You can't get them anywhere in the store, by the way. But I actually really like this one. Yeah, I, I prefer that one to the, um, to the, the uh, proper one, the, non, the yeah. non-decaf. Yeah, you're drinking it at the moment. Yeah, I'm drinking it at the moment. It tastes more orangey. I wish it had a little bit more chocolate in it as well, but it yeah, tastes more orangey. So you it's... don't really get that mu- much chocolate. I I'd say you could mix it with the the uh, double, double chocolate double chocolate yeah. chocolate one a little bit. Yeah, maybe mix it and you might get more of a hit. Possibly, yeah. I don't know. I've never tried it, but I'm gonna give that a go now. You mention it. Yeah. See, I I sometimes I, I mix the different flavors, so I'll have some of the double chocolate with the hazelnut. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you mix some of the double chocolate with the vanilla, which we don't have here, I've got it at home. It, if you get the proportions right, it can taste a bit like hot chocolate, which is really nice. Yeah, I have to try that. Yeah. Yeah. Your turn to pick the next right. one. So next we've got the Christmas pudding. <coughs> um, I didn't like this at all. I think I might have made it a bit stronger than Claude did for herself. Which may be why I didn't like it. I tell you what, I opened the jar and all I could smell was alcohol. (laughs) (laughs) I thought this is not good. That's all I could smell. It just smelled like 50 different flavours of spirit alcohol in there. (laughs) Yeah, it does smell quite strong. Yeah, it smells really strong. But I think if you don't put loads in your cup, it's probably not as bad as what I really made it. Because I thought it tasted quite nice. I thought it had like... It doesn't taste of alcohol when you're drinking it, but it kind of has like a taste of like sultanas and that sort of thing, the sort of thing you'd have in a Christmas pudding. So the next one is Beanie's Mince Pie. So this is another one of the Christmas ones. It's okay. To be honest, I, I think they kind of taste similar. Yeah. <laughs> I, I Honestly... <laughs> I actually thought at one stage that this Christmas pudding one was the mince pie one because it could have just been, they both could have been the same, but it doesn't smell as strong. As strong. It still smells of alcohol, but it's definitely not as strong as the um, yeah, Christmas I, pudding. But they taste similar to me. Yeah, I preferred the mince pie one because it wasn't as strong when I made yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the trick with a lot of them is, is to maybe use... Use less. Use less and probably a bit more milk if you don't like the strong flavours. I'm not overly clean. I like my coffees to be smooth. So, I know. I can't help it, though. So, yeah, it's... um, Yeah, these are interesting. I'm not sure I would go and buy them. No. <laughs> Again, I will drink them, but I'm not sure I would go and buy them. But you bought, you bought double, didn't you? Thinking <laughs> you would like it. Yeah, um, I have to admit, it will. Pro- my other two will probably go to the food bank. Um, I'm because I, I, I don't see the point in returning it, but I don't think any anywhere would else would have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. So next we have the Cinder Toffee. Uh, this one I, I did quite like, but I did think it had kind of a buttery aftertaste. Um, yeah, it it's nice to drink. Just you have to try and get the the uh, portions right. I this. see. Strangely enough, with this one, I'm I'm on the fence with it. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. I find it tastes burnt, not buttery. I find there's a burnt taste to it. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know. I find it burnt, so I like to have quite a lot of milk with it. So sometimes I make a really great cup of coffee with it, and other times I think, God, I hate this flavour, why have I got it? So it's not one that I want to be purchasing all the time because I don't like it enough to do that, but it's, it, it, I just have to get through it because I've got quite a few. Because <laughs> you keep giving them to me. Because <laughs> you don't want them. I don't order them anymore. No, no. Anyway, the next one is the beanies 
mint chocolate coffee. This is the decaf version. I haven't tried the proper version. I have. Um, I have to say that I prefer this version. It is nicer. It's really good. Yeah. I really like this. Um, as you can see, I've already had quite a bit of it. But where are we up to? Yeah, she only got this on Tuesday as well. Yeah, we're up to about here. So yeah. I usually have a coffee like this um, after dinner, usually. Yeah. Or at night. Yeah. So it's like really quite minty. It's not overpoweringly minty. I'm no. not into minty. Like I'm not into coconut. I'm not into minty. But this I actually really enjoy. It's got like a hint of chocolate. It tastes a bit after eight ish. Yes. Yeah. Whereas the original one you said didn't taste minty no, enough. No, not as minty as that. No. Yeah, so I really enjoy that one. Right, and next we've got the caramel popcorn. I have to admit, I haven't had this one for a while. I gave it to you the other day. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. it is It is a nice uh, flavour. I just didn't, I forgot I had it the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, have, I drink a lot more coffee when I'm with Claude than at any other time. <laughs> Everyone drinks more coffee when they're with me. <laughs> um, I used to like it and I went through a stage of not liking it. Again, it had that kind of burnt taste, but maybe it was the amount of coffee I was putting in it that was the issue. Because now I'm really liking it again. <laughs> so it's hit and miss. But does it taste like caramel popcorn? Uh, it's got kind of a popcorn-y taste, yes. Yeah, maybe that's sometimes the burnt bit that I get because I put too much coffee in and it tastes a bit burnt. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, the next one is the Beanie's White Chocolate and Raspberry. Now, this is the first time I had it yesterday. Yeah, and um, I did get a call to get me some before um, with, when she did an order and she said, oh no, that doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, so I never got it. And now, I think I watched someone who bought this and I can't think who it was. It was a vlogger and they said don't bother it wasn't that nice actually i think it's pretty good yeah it, I, I really like it um i it take, taste jammy it yeah. tastes like jam i do have to say i take it in my flask to work with me sometimes um the only thing with it is you have to wash your mug thoroughly because i tend to find that sometimes if i don't I can still taste it the next time I'm, I'm having a coffee from my mug. And you can still smell it. It's quite a strong smell as well. I gave it a good scrubby scrubby earlier. So yeah. you, won't be, you won't be tasting any of it. But yeah, I thought it just tasted good. I can taste a little bit of white chocolate in there as well. It has like a sweetness. And then yeah. there's like a berry kind of jammy taste. So it's really good. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. I think, can you get this from Aldi? I'm, I'm not seeing pretty it. sure that you can get this in the sticky toffee pudding. I don't really go to, to Aldi, so I don't know. It's either Aldi or Lidl. They do sell it's it. Not I'm Lidl. sure. Is it not Lidl? It's no. Aldi then. But I, maybe they only did it for a set amount of time. I'm not really sure. Right, and lastly, uh, we've got the Little's French Vanilla. Um, neither of us particularly likes this one. It's got... Uh, well, no. I, I like the taste, but I do not like the smell. It, I find it really off-putting. It just... Uh, smells a bit too chemically for me so I prefer the taste of this one but the smell of the beanies vanilla is yeah. strange yeah I found exactly the same actually I hadn't noticed it until Irene told me it had a really weird smell and then I smelled it and thought oh yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> I was really put off <laughs> you really put me off that sorry that's why there's not that I've still got a little bit left it did take me a while to get through it it really <laughs> Vanilla is just not my favourite. I just don't see the point to it. It's a non-existent flavour to me. I don't know. I feel like it's not worth having in a coffee because it's not strong enough for it to notice. Okay. I think that's the problem. I think it's too... Even in the beanies, I don't love it enough. Yeah, it's a bit meh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's probably why I mix it more with the double chocolate. Yeah, which I might try that because I've got quite a lot of beanies ones somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where I put them, but I know I've got another four jars of it or three jars of it somewhere. What, just vanilla? Vanilla, I bought six, yeah. Oof. <laughs> I know. It was cheaper to buy six on Amazon. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, and that's it then. Yeah, Um, I was going to show you my travel mug. So we've both got travel mugs. 
Irene's one is slightly different to mine. You press the button at the back to yep. release the drink, whereas my one has got a handle and it's got a locking thing here. Yeah, mine does have a locking thing up here as well. Yeah. And then yeah. you press the button and you can drink from it. So this is my travel mug. I've had it a long time. We're talking... God knows how long. Five years. Probably five years. You can't even get it anymore. So I don't know why I'm showing you this because if any of you want it, you're not going to be able to find it. Irene's one you can still get, but my one you can't. Yep. They've stopped doing the ones with the handles, which is kind of annoying. Um, they did do one that's similar. It's taller and it's called Rudolph, I think. It's called Rudolph. I'm sure it is. I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> anyway, this is Cognito. Is it Cognito? Contigo. Contigo. So is mine. Yeah, they're both... Mine, it's worn off at the back on here, but it, it's the same make. They seem to do pretty good mugs, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to see Irene while she's poorly. Thank you. Putting her germs all over the jar. I'm going to have to bet all them now. Right, I'm definitely taking my white chocolate and raspberry one home then. I knew you were going to do that anyway. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a video very soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.